class we discuss about the role of capacitor in power factor improvement. Capacitor is a device which draws a leading current and completely neutralizes the lagging reactive component of load current. This raises the power factor of the load. Consider a single phase load. Here V is a supply voltage, I is the load current, this is resistor, this is inductor or a load. Taking lagging current I at a power factor cos theta 1. This is a phasor diagram. This is supply voltage, this is load current I. The angle between V and I is theta 1. Here the power factor is cos theta 1. Now, capacitor C is connected in parallel with the load. The capacitor draws current IC, which leads the supply voltage by 90 degree. It is an ideal capacitor. I dash is the resulting current. I dash is the phasor sum of I and IC. Here, theta 1 is the angle between V and I. Theta 2 is the angle between V and I dash. Here, theta 2 is less than theta 1. So, cos theta 2 is greater than cos theta 1. Hence, power factor of the load is increased. The resultant current I dash is less than load current I. The active component of current I cos theta 1 is equal to I dash cos theta 2 multiply by V. V I cos theta 1 is equal to V I dash cos theta 2. Real power P is equal to V I cos theta. So, before power factor correction V I cos theta 1. After power factor correction, V into I dash cos theta 2. Therefore, the real power is remain constant. The reactive component of current is reduced after power factor correction and is equal to the difference between lagging reactive component of load and the capacitor current IC. This is I, this is IC. That is, I dash into sin theta 2 is equal to I into sin theta 1 minus IC. Multiply both sides by V. V I dash sin theta 2 is equal to V I sin theta 1 minus V IC. The kilo volt ampere reactive KVAR after power factor correction is equal to lagging KVR before power factor correction minus leading KVR of the equipment. This is a phasor diagram after connecting a capacitor across the load. IC is a capacitor current, V is a supply voltage, I is the load current, I dash is the resultant current. Theta 1 is angle between V and I. Theta 2 is angle between V and I dash. The reactive component current I dash sin theta 2 is equal to I into sin theta 1 minus IC. Therefore, IC is equal to I into sin theta 1 minus I dash sin theta 2. We know that XC is equal to 1 by 2 pi FC. Omega is equal to 2 pi F. That is equal to 1 by omega C. And the voltage V is equal to IC into XC. Therefore, V is equal to IC into 1 by omega C. That is equal to V into omega C. That is equal to IC. The capacitance of capacitor to improve power factor from cos theta 1 to cos theta 2. C is equal to IC by omega into V. Calculation of capacitance in KVR. The value of capacitor 
is normally given in farads when it is used in power factor correction its value is given in kilo volt ampere reactive the capacitor supplies leading kvr to neutralize the lagging kvr its value is given in kvr as it supplies the desired kvr to improve the power factor this is power triangle o a b c this is in kilowatts o a kilowatts a c is equal to kvr1 a b is equal to kvr2 consider triangle o a c the power triangle for power factor theta 1 consider triangle o a b the power triangle for power factor theta 2 the active power p in kilowatts is not changed during the power factor improvement only lagging kvr of the load is reduced from ac to ab here leading kvr supplied is equal to ac minus ab that is equal to kvr1 minus kvr2 that is equal to bc tan theta is equal to kvr1 by oa tan theta 2 is equal to kvr2 by oa oa is equal to kilowatts so leading kvr supplied is equal to kilowatts into tan theta 1 minus tan theta 2 knowing the leading kvr supplied by the power factor power factor correction equipment the desired results can be obtained an alternator supplying a load of 500 kilowatts at a power factor of 0.6 lagging if the power factor is raised to unity how many kilowatt can alternator supply for the same kva loading that is a question here kilowatts is given power factor is given we know that kva is equal to kilowatts by cos theta that is equal to 500 by 0.6 that is equal to 833.33 kva kilowatt at 0.6 power factor is equal to 500 kilowatts kilowatt at unity power factor is equal to 833.33 into 1 that is equal to 833.33 kilowatts therefore increased power supplied by the alternator is equal to 833.33 minus 500 that is equal to 333.33 kilowatts when the power factor of the alternator is unity the 833.33 kva are also 500 kilowatts and the engine driving the alternator has to be capable of developing this power together with the losses in the alternator that's a point one point number two when the power factor of the load is 0.6 the power is only 500 kilowatts therefore the engine is developing 500 kilowatts though the alternator is supplying its rated output of 833.33 kilowatts this is the importance of power factor improvement with this i conclude my lecture thanks for listening